Today on Motors, Chris gets nostalgic with the Ford Mustang. Welcome to a very special episode of Motors. Today we're celebrating the birthday of an American icon, the Ford Mustang. This iconic muscle car turns 50 years old in 2014. And with a history like that, it's only fitting that we celebrate its birthday right here on Motors. So sit back and enjoy as we take a look back at 50 years of a vehicle that has literally shaped the automotive industry. We're gonna take a look at its birth, rise to stardom, the evolution it has had over the half century mark, its incredible owner following, its immense hot rodding appeal, and of course, its future. We're going to take a look back at some previous episodes of Motors to refresh your memory on just how much you can do to these great cars, and we'll take a look at some of the best products out there for them. So get ready and enjoy this very special episode celebrating 50 years of the Ford Mustang. 2014 marks the 50th anniversary of the Mustang. Now, originally released to the consumer in April of 1964, the Ford Mustang was an instant success in the automotive world. Overnight, it gained a huge fan base and following, which has continued to grow over the past 50 years to make the Ford Mustang one of the most recognizable cars in the world. The Mustang is credited with creating the phrase, Pony Car which is a sports car coupe with a long hood and a short rear, and its launch ignited the great muscle car revolution of the 60s and into the 70s. Since its birth in 1964 and a half, the Ford Mustang has sold almost 5 million units worldwide. It was the first automobile to win the Tiffany Gold Medal for Excellence in American Design. It is a two-time Motor Trend Car of the Year winner and has been on the Car and Driver 10 Best List six times. It has been in some of the most famous car chase sequences in movie history and has been given almost iconic rock star status to some of the most famous racing teams and designers such as John Force, Celine Autosports, and of course, Carroll Shelby. The Ford Motor Company was so excited about celebrating the 50th birthday of the Mustang that they threw a huge event, which we were fortunate to attend. So when we come back from our break, we'll take you to Vegas and show you exactly what you missed. It just never ends with you. I feel like if it's not one thing, it's another. Well, that ends today. The Craftsman C3 line. One battery, more than 30 tools, and the power to tackle any job that stands in your way. You're welcome. The C3 line from Craftsman. Get the new, more powerful XCP battery. Now runs up to four times longer. Craftsman, trust in your hands. Today we're here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, helping celebrate the Ford's 50th Mustang anniversary. Now, of course, we've covered the Mustang so much over the last six seasons of motors, we couldn't pass up this event. So here's what you missed if you couldn't make it.
As you can see, Mustang owners are loyal and their love covers every generation from the car's birth to present day. The Mustang has become one of, if not the most, popular cars to modify and there's so much out there to choose from. Now we've been showing you how to modify the Mustang since the very first season of motors. And six seasons later, well, we're still going strong by showing you how to install everything from car stereos, nitrous oxide, superchargers, suspension kits, and so much more. In fact, 28 of our 78 episodes produced to date are dedicated to the Pony. Now let's take a look back at a few of them to see some of the possibilities you have when it comes to customizing your Mustang with aftermarket products. Mm. The history of the Mustang on motors began back in season one. Now since then we've worked on two 2008 Mustang GTs, a 2010 Mustang GT, as well as a 1987 Mustang GT. Now it all started with this episode where I showed you how to install a Sirius satellite radio in a 2008. Then we got down to business and I showed you how to install a Viper alarm on the 2008 as well. Then we decided to attack a little bit of the performance side of the vehicle with a BBK intake and an SCT tuner. Brake pads and rotors need to be upgraded at some point, and in this episode, in Season 2, we showed you how to upgrade with the kit from Stillen. Now switching out the headlights or upgrading them in most vehicles is a pretty simple process, but in the Mustang you actually have to remove the entire front fascia, so in this episode we show you exactly how to do that. Hey, you want to know how to drop about 33 pounds from your S197 Mustang? Replace that stock drive shaft with an aluminum one. Now since we're up there messing around, we also swapped out our stock shifter with a Steeda Triax, which reduces the throw by 2 inches. We opened up the front end earlier with a BBK intake, and once you do that, you gotta open up the back end as well, and we did just that with this Magnaflow exhaust. Then David Wheeler came down from Hellwick and helped us install front and rear sway bars. Now with the start of Season 3, we turned our attention to our Grabber Orange 2008 Mustang GT. We gave it a rear window louver, we swapped out the stock GT emblems with some black ones that we made, we gave it a high performance motor sticker down the side, we gave it some engine dress up pieces, and pimped out the interior a little bit. Upgrading your cloth or leather interior to a brand new one from Catskin is easier than you think, and in this episode we give you the step by step. Have you ever wondered how to lower a Mustang? Well, we've done it three times now. This was the first. It's easier than you think as well. Watch this episode to find out how to do it. And in Season 3, Episode 6, our white Mustang GT makes a dramatic transformation with a body kit, new wheels, and tires. Upgrading your pulleys is an excellent way of adding quick power to your engine. Now, speaking of performance, we also turn to the interior of our 2008. We upgraded the entire stereo system with products from Pioneer. This included the door speakers, tweeters in the doors, amplifiers, and a brand new touchscreen head unit. Now, speaking of performance, there's nothing bigger that you can do to a vehicle than installing a supercharger, and that's just what we did in this episode, showing you the step-by-step -step on how to install one yourself. With all that additional power from the supercharger, well, now you've got to stop it. So of course we upgraded to a big brake kit from Bear. Now if you're looking to add more boost to your 2008 Mustang GT, we got the episode for you. We show you how to install a full nitrous oxide kit in a 2008, including all the switches right in your center console. Now going back in time to our 87 Mustang GT, we break out the welder and we show you how to install subframe connectors, control arms, and an electric fan radiator kit from Flexalite. In Season 5, Episode 11, we upgrade the transmission for our 2008 Mustang GT with the Tremec T56 Magnum XL 6-speed double overdrive transmission from Modern Driveline. And for our Season 5 finale, we return to our 87 Mustang GT, where we show you how to swap out the stock 302 with a new 331 crate motor from Blueprint Engines. Now if you ever wanted to see the process of swapping out an engine, or you want to do it yourself, you got to see this episode. At the beginning of Season 6, we introduced our 2010 Mustang GT. We restyled it at a trade show one week before the SEMA show, and then brought it there to show it off. 
Now once we had our Mustang back in the shop, we prepared it for the following SEMA show by installing a ProCharger Supercharger, a MagnaFlow Catback Exhaust, an SSBC Big Brake Kit, some billet aluminum engine dress-up parts, as well as some chrome valve covers from Ford Racing, and to top it all off, an airlift suspension system. Now we'll be right back after this break with more motors. If it's your car, why not make it your interior? Visit catskin.com today to find out how. Catskin. Express. Transform. Drive. The Mustang covers every part of the car lover's spectrum, from the stock daily driver to a heavily modified hot rod enthusiast dream car. The options truly are limitless, and the majority of these modifications are one you can do right in your own garage, just as we've shown you here on Motors. It's rare to find a Mustang that hasn't been modified in some way. It really is a car enthusiast dream. Now we've worked on many Mustangs on this show over the years, and it never ceases to amaze me just how many options for modifications there are out there, or just how easy and how much fun it is to do each and every time. And new products are always being released for all model years, still on the road today. Now, since its inception, the Mustang has evolved into what will soon be its sixth generation, all the while still managing to keep its most noticeable features in the forefront to make it instantly recognizable as a Ford Mustang. Now let's take a look at the many generations of muscle. The Ford Mustang 1, which we saw in person at the Las Vegas 50th celebration, is a small four-cylinder concept car that was manufactured by Ford in Culver City, California in 1962. Now, unlike most other concept vehicles these days, the final product in 1964 looked nothing like this. The only thing that was carried forward was the Mustang name. Now, when that first Mustang was introduced in 1964 and a half, it was Ford's most successful launch since the Model A. Now, the reason why it was a 1964 and a half is because the Mustang became available five months before the start of the 1965 production year, with actual production beginning in March of 1964. The first generation Mustang model years covered 1964 to 1973. Now to cut down on cost, many parts of the first Mustang were borrowed from the Ford Fairlane and the Ford Falcon. The MSRP was $2,368. Now within the first 18 months, more than 1 million Mustangs were produced, which blew away the original production of 100,000 units to be sold the first year. Second generation Mustangs covered years 1974 to 1978, with first generation Mustangs growing larger and heavier by the early 70s, Ford changed things up with the Mustang II by introducing a more fuel efficient vehicle for the 1974 model year based on the Ford Pinto. The Mustang's third generation, which was available from 1979 to 1993, was based on Ford's Fox platform. The Fox platform was already being used for the Ford Fairmont and the Mercury Zephyr, downsized and designed to be more lightweight. But for most of the fourth generation Mustangs, codenamed SN95, built between 94 and 2004, Ford went with a newer design called the Fox 4, along with a massive redesign including bringing back the hatchback coupe last seen in 1974. Fifth generation Mustangs covered years 2005 through 14. Codenamed S197, Ford left the Fox-based platforms for their D2C platform, used only for the 2005 to present Mustang. Fifth Gen Mustangs brought back the styling of those fastback Mustangs of the late 60s, blending in modern muscle car styling plus the power and performance. Now that leaves us with the latest, the sixth generation Mustang. It begins its life as a 2015 model year, codenamed S550. It is a complete redesign from top to bottom and features independent rear suspension and updated engine options including a 2.3 liter EcoBoost 310 horsepower 4-cylinder engine, a 3.7 liter V6 producing 300 horsepower, and the 5.0 liter Coyote V8 pumping out 435. The sixth generation of the Mustang, the 2015 model year, hits the streets in 2014. With Ford's major advancements in engineering and technology, they're bringing some exciting options to the stable. 
With the continued evolution of the Coyote 5.0 and now the addition of the 2.3 liter turbocharged EcoBoost engine, the sky's the limit. E3 Diamond Fire spark plugs are the most powerful spark plugs you can buy. They deliver a more complete fuel burn, more power, better economy, and reduced emissions. E3 Diamond Fire spark plugs at auto parts and lawn and garden stores everywhere. Parts, brought to you by Craftsman at Sears. The latest line of tools from Craftsman is called Mock Series. Now, I've been talking about them on the show and giving them away on our Facebook page. Now, if I had to describe these new tools in one word, I would say innovative. And to prove my point, check this thing out. I bet you've never seen a ratchet quite like it. It's a 3 8 inch drive ratchet, but as you can tell by this side-by-side -side comparison, it's a different animal entirely. This one is built for speed and power, allowing you to turn sockets 16 times more efficiently than a standard ratchet. Now, if you've ever used one of those push-to-turn screwdrivers, this ratchet is just like that, using Craftsman's fast drive technology and its extendable shaft. The head pivots 180 degrees, so you can get into those really tricky spots. The helix drive shaft locks into place, so you can use it as a standard ratchet when needed. Want to reverse directions? Just flip the switch as you would any other ratchet. Now find out more at Craftsman.com or the parts page at our website. And remember that this guy comes with that awesome lifetime Craftsman warranty. Happy 50th anniversary, Mustang! We're celebrating it right here on this episode of Motors, but you know whose pistons are pumping about it too? Our friends over at Covercraft, who happen to be one of the 50 companies licensed by Ford to use their custom-created logo to commemorate the occasion on their own products. What's the catch? Well, they can only manufacture them until December 31st, 2014, so needless to say, supplies are limited. But available right now is Covercraft's UVS 100 custom sunscreen and their custom pattern car covers. Choose from any of Covercraft's custom Mustang covers and you'll have the option to add a special edition Mustang 50 years silkscreen logo. This is available with and without a border. The UVS 100 custom sunscreen is the perfect way to protect your interior when you don't have your car cover on. It is a premium quality sunscreen, custom made for your ride. It's easy to set up and its foam core construction acts as an insulator against the heat. Now here I am installing the form fit cover, available in six colors. These are their more luxurious indoor covers as it fits like a glove and there's nothing softer than the cotton fleece on the inside. It truly is body hugging as you can see once it's installed on our 2010 Mustang GT. Now we call it the sexy cover for good reason. Just look at this thing. Now hurry up and get your Mustang 50th anniversary edition UVS 100 and car cover before they run out. Visit Covercraft.com for more information. You know what? We modify our Mustangs on this show a lot, and we drive them hard, too. Now, when upgrading as much as we do, especially on the performance side of things, such as a supercharger, we often forget about the fuel system that helps to deliver all that go juice when you press the pedal. That's the reason why Ford Racing makes this high-flow, dual-fuel pump for the Mustang GT. Now, this one right here is for the 2010 model year but they also make them for others as well, such as the 2005 to 2009 Mustang GT. Now when you hit those top speeds, you don't want to starve your engine of the fuel that it needs. This is highly recommended for any Mustang making over 400 horsepower. The kit includes the dual fuel pump, drop-in housing, fuel pump driver module from the 2010 SVT Mustang, wiring harness which runs to the factory locations, and all the installation hardware. To access the fuel pump, just remove the rear seat bottom, twist to open the fuel tank cover, then replace the fuel pump. Add the additional hardware and run the wiring harness included, and you're good to go. Now visit FordRacingParts.com for more information or visit the parts page at our website. Letters, brought to you by E3 Spark Plugs, born to burn. Hey, welcome to Letters and our new studio from Craftsman, including some brand new furniture from Pit Stop Furniture. Now between episodes, if you want to stay in touch with us, please follow us on Twitter at Motors and like our Facebook page at Motors TV for all the latest news and behind the scenes photos from the crew. Now let's get to some letters. Our first letter comes from John Kano, and he writes in and says, I'd like to make my truck perform better. Before adding a tuner, I was thinking of starting with the airflow system and then the exhaust system. Is this a good start? 
Well, John, a cold air intake kit and a good free-flowing cat-back exhaust kit will improve horsepower and torque without breaking the bank. So go for it, man. Now, our next letter comes from Tamer Collins. He writes in, says, I just hit a curb and now part of my alloy wheel is rubbed off. Should I take it to a repair shop, buy a new wheel, or is there a way you can repair it at home? The Tamer, it might just be easier to replace the wheel, but try getting it repaired first. Just be sure to get multiple estimates before you move forward. Now our final letter comes from Gary. He writes in and says, Chris, when adding a new performance air intake, should you also upgrade the air sensor? Well, Gary, buying a new mass airflow sensor can cost 50 bucks on up on top of your new intake. So as long as you handle it correctly when moving it, there's no need. Now I'd like to thank Gary, Tamer, and John for sending in your letters. You guys get new E3 spark plugs for your ride. Now to learn how to send in your letter, visit our website and click on the letters button on our homepage. And to learn more about E3 spark plugs and their diamond fire technology, or to find out if they're available for your ride, visit e3sparkplugs.com. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little stroll down memory lane and an exciting glimpse into the future of one of the world's most recognizable automotive icons. The Ford Mustang truly is a snapshot of not just America, but the entire automotive industry over the years. The love and passion that fans have for this car is the type of fuel that drives us to produce this show. It's also a love of all things automotive and the excitement of watching it evolve and even having a hand in its evolution either by influence or by taking matters into our own hands with a wrench. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Duke and I'll catch you next time on Motors. Today on Motors, Chris gets nostalgic with the Ford Mustang. I'm always ready. Hi, Dookie. Hi, Brian. This iconic muscle car turns 40, 40, 40. What? Very special episode, selling, selling, celebrating 50 years. Oh. And we'll take a look at some of the best products out there, including weed whackers.